Hey y'all, welcome back to Papa Creek Farm. Today I am making worm poop tea. So I'm getting the water in there and I will show you guys the process and how to do this um, so that you guys can use your vermicompost to make amazing fertilizer for your, your seed starts, your plants, your whole garden. Um, it's really good for just about anything. All right guys. So I've got my five gallon bucket um, filled with probably about three cups of vermicompost from my, my warm bin. Um, it's fresh, so there is some like newspaper, um, little bits of newspaper pieces that didn't filter through. Um, I'm sure a worm or two you know, made it in. I tried to look through and make sure that I didn't have any, but there's the potential that one or two was sacrificed. Um, and then I do have a couple little sprouts from the peppers and stuff that I've thrown in there. Uh, the seeds, they've sprouted and I've got a couple of those in there. Not a big deal. The biggest thing is to have the worm poop that has all the nutrients. This is where all the good bacteria is. So yes, you can technically make worm poop tea from uh, you know, store-bought vermicompost. The problem is those are typically dried out and at that point dried out worm poop is no good because bacteria dies um, as soon as it's dried out and as soon as it's left out in any extreme temperature so if during travel it was extremely cold or extremely hot it's going to kill the bacteria so fresh worm poop is really the best thing you can use um, obviously if you don't have though that second best is you know store-bought um, but if you can find somebody that has a large worm bin and is willing to sell you some fresh moistened uh, vermicompost then that's that's your best option if you don't have your own um, so what we're gonna do is I've got the worm poop in there and I've got uh, I've got it about three quarters of the way filled mostly because if I filled it all the way I wasn't gonna be able to pick it up um, out of the out of the sink there so next we're gonna go ahead and do um, an air pump in it this is the the rock the aeration disc rock um, here's the pump and the tubing um, fittingly kind of perfect it's, it's right next to my my fish tank here so next you need molasses uh, you need a sugar for the bacteria the good bacteria to eat uh, there's really not bad bacteria in worm poop it's pretty much you know, whatever you fed them um, just comes out the other end processed with a little more nutrients um, so molasses is your sugar content it's your carbohydrate to feed to the, the bacteria Without it, bacteria won't reproduce um, and will pretty much just die off. They need a food source. So uns unsulfured molasses is what you need. And you need about a couple of tablespoons of this. You can't really go over the top with it. There's no, you know, too much. There's potential for too little, um, but too much, what happens is your, it just becomes a little bit stickier. Um, I've actually heard of people adding a lot of molasses into their, uh, when they actually go to use the, um, worm tea they'll add extra molasses to make it sticky and what they'll do is they'll sprinkle it on um, plants that are affected by pests so things that have aphids things that have you know squash bugs um, anything that's small enough that can stick pretty easily they'll stick to the molasses and they'll die um, or at the very least you can go back and kind of catch them because they're stuck and they can't really go anywhere so that's always a good thing to have on hand um, just for, for you know your garden in general Add a bit of that in. And now we're gonna add the aeration rock. Let me just show you what it looks like right now. So nice and chunky, looks lovely. Really just looks like dirt. Um, it doesn't look gross or anything. Let's go ahead and get this put together. And these were all purchased just at a you know, local pet store. Um, top, brand, top thin brand. I've never used this one, so I'm not sure exactly how well it'll work, but we'll give it a whirl. You can buy pretty long tubing, so if you need it to be somewhere that's, you know, can't plug it in, you don't want it right, you know, in your living room or whatever, but you want, um, you don't have a plug nearby, you can buy pretty long tubing um, so that you can have a, a pretty good distance between the plug and the worm poop. This is an eight foot tubing. 
That was actually the smallest one they had. Okay. I'll go ahead and plug it in. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna leave this for a few days. I'm probably gonna leave it for a bit now just because I don't have, uh, my peppers aren't started yet. I only have a couple Um, of other seedlings started that don't really need it, but I do want it for my herbs. It's starting to bubble already. So I'm gonna make sure that it stays upright. I'll show you guys what it looks like in there. So it's bubbling away. And that's what you want. You want it to bubble for a couple days. The idea of the bubbling is just to kind of keep things moving and aerate it. So they need aeration. It's bacteria. Um, bacteria needs air just like just like we do. A um, little bit different sense of, of it, but they do need air. So we do need to keep it aerated. You can also just stir it. Um, I'm not home enough to stir it frequently enough. Uh, on the weekends I am, but that's about it. During the week I'm gone. Um, you know working a full-time job so I can't stir so this is this is the best way to keep it aerated all right guys that's it super easy warm poop tea is the, one of the easiest things to make and it is amazing fertilizer so if you have warm poop um, tea you really don't need a whole lot of other fertilizers um, you shouldn't not to say that you may not need um, something else but you shouldn't really need a whole lot else so super easy if you can stir it um, a couple times a day you know, if you don't want to use the bubble rock, that's fine. Um, if you're home and you're able to, it really doesn't have any smell. Um, worm poop itself doesn't stink. If it starts to stink, it's probably because I've got some sprouts in here and whatnot. Um, and I can always seed those out if I need to. Uh, so basically, a couple days of this, and then I will water my plants with it. Um, I will probably dilute it some, just for safety, and I don't want to burn my plants with, with too much, uh, too many good things. Um, so I probably will do like three parts water, one part the tea. Um, and you can break down however however you feel is best. If your plants, um, if you're kind of already planted outside, you can probably do straight warm poop tea. It's not gonna burn, it shouldn't burn your plants as long as you put it at the base. Um, but kind of be careful with it initially and see how your plants react. Um, I'm gonna brew this for a few days and then I will use it to give, all my, give my plants all the good stuff. So thank you guys for joining me today. And see you on the next one and please like and subscribe